Nestled in the western edge of the North Devon coast, areas of outstanding natural beauty is the Speaks Mill River Valley. It forms part of the North Devon Biosphere Reserve due to its abundance of rare flora and fauna, which has also earned its status as a site of special scientific interest. For those with sturdy boots and a sense of adventure, there is a linear walk that follows the course of the River Speak from the hamlet of Linebridge down to the coast, roughly a kilometre away. The River Speak once served a number of mills in the valley, but now it has no master and follows the same journey that it has done since before its manipulation by man. Its banks act as the ideal habitat for a number of insects and arachnids, whereas the old stone bridges that span the stream offer the perfect damp environment for a variety of fungi. Be sure to cut across the meadow, as this public footpath offers the best chance to see dragonflies, damselflies and other roaming insects. Although these winged creatures are hard to spot when whizzing overhead, look out for them on fence posts, stiles, and even the boardwalk in front of you, where they like to take a rest. Just be careful where you tread. In the greatest abundance is the aptly named common data dragonfly. Measuring around 43mm, and with the males turning a distinct bright red-orange on maturity, they are easy enough to spot. They are one of the earliest and latest on the wing, been found during June to October, but sometimes as early as May and even as late as December. As you rejoin the track, you will once again be parallel with the river. Brown trout were once commonplace in this deeper stretch of water, and so too were otters, who on occasion came to claim their catch. Sadly, the number of fish have declined in recent years, and with it the otter population too. If you are lucky enough to spot an otter, be sure to record it, as sightings are now few and far between. As you head towards the coast, you will notice that the ever-present sound of the river softens as it meanders away from you. Its trickles now replaced by a chorus of crickets who communicate from the banks either side of your path. These hedgerows are the habitats of other insects too, and what they lack in noise, they make up for in colour. The track steepens slightly here, but you will be rewarded for your efforts, for on the other side, the dramatic North Devon coast is revealed to you in an instant. This spot also offers a great vantage point for bird watching, with wagtails, wheat ears and stone chats being frequent visitors to this open stretch of water. If you are lucky, you may even spot a bird of prey, as buzzard, kestrel and peregrine falcon are known to soar in these skies. And now, you reach the peace to resistance of the walk. Although there are other waterfalls within the Heartland Peninsula, at 50 foot high the Speaks Mill Mouth waterfall is arguably the most impressive. And here, my favourite walk concludes with my favourite view of North Devon. These rock formations are part of an important geological landscape of carboniferous folds and faults created over 300 million years ago. You'd be excused for thinking that this is the end of the road for you, but with the rock pools of the beach to explore, Welcome out to the west, or the coast path to Heartland Quay to the east, you have barely scratched the surface of what the North Devon coast areas of outstanding natural beauty have to offer. The only real question is, which way next? <laughs>